Accounting aspects involved on retirement or death of a partner. Do you understand? We will calculate your share as per the rules. You will be treated fairly. Not done! You can't throw me out! Why have you changed your mind? We will compensate you well. Mm, Alright, I'm interested in knowing how you guys are calculating my share. Initially, we will calculate the new profit sharing ratio. New profit sharing ratio is the ratio in which the remaining partners will share future profits after retirement or death of any partner. The new share will consist of the remaining partner's own share in the firm plus the share acquired from the retiring or deceased partner. Oh, oh. that means once I am gone, you guys will earn more. Don't talk nonsense. I know I am entitled to goodwill. So how will you compensate me? The retiring partner is entitled to his or her share of goodwill at the time of retirement because the goodwill is the result of the efforts of all partners, including the retiring one in the past. The retiring partner is compensated for his or her share of goodwill. As per accounting standard 10 AS 10, Goodwill is recorded in the books only when some consideration in money is paid for it. Remember, Goodwill is recorded in the books only when it is purchased and the Goodwill account cannot be raised on its own. Therefore, in case of retirement of a partner, the Goodwill is adjusted through the partner's capital accounts. The retiring partner's capital account is credited with his or her share of goodwill and the remaining partner's capital account is debited in their gaining ratio. The journal entry is made as under remaining partner's capital account debit individually to retiring partner's capital account Retiring partner's share of goodwill adjusted to remaining partners in the gaining ratio. What if goodwill already appears in the books of accounts? Will you deprive me of my share? Karel, stop being so impatient. What should be done when goodwill account already appears in the books? Normally, the goodwill is not shown in the books of the firm. If at the time of retirement or death of a partner, goodwill appears in the balance sheet of the firm. It will be written off by debiting all the partner's capital account in their existing profit sharing ratio and crediting the goodwill account. The following journal entry is made. Partner's capital account debit including retiring partner's capital account to goodwill account being the entry for existing goodwill written off. Next, we take up revaluation of assets and liabilities. Revaluation of assets and liabilities at the time of retirement of a partner. The assets and liabilities of the firm are revalued and revaluation account is prepared in the same way as in case of admission of a partner. This is done to adjust the changes in value of assets and liabilities at the time of retirement or death of a partner. Any profit or loss due to revaluation is divided amongst all the partners including retiring or deceased in their existing profit sharing ratio. Uh, well, explain with the help of this illustration. 
three woodcutters, Mong, Tong and Chong, started a sawmill, sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Mong finally retired from the partnership on account of old age. Tong and Chong decided to settle his claim. The following revaluation of assets and liabilities was agreed upon. 1. The value of machinery is increased by 25,000 rupees. 2. The value of investment is increased by 2,000 rupees. 3. A provision for outstanding bills standing in the books at 1,000 rupees is now not required. 4. The value of land and building is decreased by 12,000 rupees. Please help the partners in preparing a revaluation account. Journal entries for the same are as follows. Revaluation account for the same. Treatment of accumulated reserves and undistributed profits. All the balances of accumulated reserves, funds and undistributed amount of profit or loss appearing in the balance sheet of the firm on the date of retirement or death are distributed among all partners including retiring or deceased partner in their old profit sharing ratio. Journal entries for the same are as follows. Disposal of amount due to a retiring partner. The outgoing partner's account is settled as per the terms of partnership deed, that is, in lump sum immediately, or in various installments, with or without interest, as agreed, or partly in cash immediately and partly in installment at the agreed intervals. What if there is no agreement? In the absence of any agreement, Section 37 of the Indian Partnership Act 1932 is applicable, which states that the outgoing partner has an option to receive either interest at 6% per annum till the date of payment or such share of profits which has been earned with his or her money, that is, based on capital ratio. What if we cannot pay a cut immediately? In case the firm is not in a position to make the payment immediately, the amount due is transferred to the retiring partner's loan account and as when the amount is paid, it is debited to his account. Journal entries for the same are as follows. An example for better understanding, Amrinder, Mahinder and Joginder are partners in a firm. Mahinder retires from the firm. On his date of retirement, 60,000 rupees becomes due to him. Amrinder and Joginder promise to pay him in installments every year at the end of the year. Prepare Mahinder's loan account in the following cases. Remember, the balance of the retiring partner's loan account is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet till the last installment is paid to him or her. Entry number B and C above will be repeated till the loan is paid off. When payment is made for yearly installments plus interest at 12%
when payment is made in three yearly installments of 20,000 rupees each including interest. When payment is made in four equal yearly installments including interest at 12% annually. Working note. At the time of retirement or death of a partner, the remaining partners may decide to adjust their capital contributions in their profit sharing ratio. What happens then? In such a situation, the sum of balances in the capitals of continuing partners may be treated as the total capital of the new firm unless specified otherwise. So how do we ascertain the new capital of the continuing partners? In order to ascertain the new capital of the continuing partners, the total capital of the firm is divided amongst the remaining partners as per the new profit sharing ratio. The excess or deficiency of capital in the individual capital accounts may be worked out. Such excess or shortage shall be adjusted by withdrawal of contribution in cash as the case may be. Journal entries for excess capital withdrawal by the partner is as shown. Journal entries for amount of capital to be brought in by the partner is as follows. An example to make the concepts clear. death of a partner. The accounting treatment in the event of death of a partner is similar to that in case of retirement of a partner. In case of death of a partner, his claim is transferred to his executors and settled in the same manner as that of the retired partner. However, there is one major difference that while the retirement normally takes place at the end of an accounting period, the death of a partner may occur anytime. Hence, in case of a death, his claim shall also include his share of profit or loss, interest on capital, interest on drawings, if any, from the date of the last balance sheet to the date of his death. The main problem relates to the calculation of profit for the intervening period, that is, the period from the date of the last balance sheet and the date of the partner's death. Since it is considered cumbersome to close the books and prepare final account for the period, the deceased partner's share of profit may be calculated on the basis of last year's profit or average of the past few years or on the basis of sales. An example for the same. Situation 1 The journal entry will be recorded as follows. Situation 2 Situation 3 
So now I hope we have cleared your doubts, Colonel. Every calculation is above board. Neither me nor Puddle have any intention of cheating you. I know, but I am having doubts now. Should I stay or should I go? Oh no. Oh, no.